Hi everyone, my name is Mitch and welcome to the Crypto Unicorns Buying Guide. I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial today around how you can purchase new unicorns from the Horku Marketplace. The strategy that I'm giving you is really meant for new players, so it's how you can purchase land and how you can purchase unicorns and what you need to be doing to get started. If you're getting started out, the very first thing you want to collect is at least two adult unicorns and at least one common land, ideally where the classes are matching. So I'm gonna show you today the best way to do that and what you should be looking for in the unicorns that you do purchase. Now, this is not going to be a guide around how to create and connect wallets. Uh, Crypto Unicorns operates on the Polygon network. So you wanna make sure you do have some Matic in your wallet in order to put through these transactions to acquire some of these unicorns. So that information will be included uh, below. Uh, but for this video, I'm just purely going to create it to show you what you should be looking for uh, so you can get started in crypto unicorns. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to pick up a uh, well, two unicorns, two adult unicorns with maximum breeding points. The reason why you want maximum breeding points is because this is what is going to allow you to start to grow your crypto unicorns account. The more breeding points a unicorn has, the cheaper it's going to be to breed. And essentially the more breeds you're going to get out of them because each time you breed, you consume one breeding point and the cost of breeding gets more expensive. You're also going to want to specialize in a class, which is the best way to start. I will first show you how you can pick a class and view the different classes. So, so if we go to filters, um, we will find a list of options we can filter by. Now there's all different classes you can see here under class. We've got cloud, crystal, moon, heart, and so forth. There's a few more as you scroll down. Now I would suggest taking the time to click on each class and just look at the, the unicorns that are available. And you can see here, for example, we've got two types of unicorns. You have a baby unicorn and you have an adult unicorn. Now you wanna go for an adult unicorn because the adult unicorns are the ones that can breed. The baby unicorns cannot breed. And that is indicated by the number of breeding points here. You see how the baby has zero and uh, this adult unicorn here has five out of eight, which means some of the breeding points aren't there. And so let's just say we decide to specialize in cloud class. We want to make sure that we're adding as many breeding points, uh, well, that they're maxing out the breeding points, which is eight. So you can just put eight there in the first box, and that is going to give you a minimum of eight breeding points required for it to show up in search. And then of course you want to click adult because we're after adult unicorns with maximum breeding points. So if we click that button, we will see the unicorns that are currently available with eight out of eight breeding points. Now, obviously if you're getting started out, you're probably going to want to look at the best options from a cost perspective. And so you're going to filter by price low to high. And if you do that, you can see the cheapest unicorns are here are available for purchase with maximum breeding points. And these are the unicorns that you're going to want to go after. I would suggest as well looking at other classes. So you might find some other classes that are cheaper, or of course you can remove that entire class filter together and view all the types of unicorns all together, which is probably easier. And here you can see even cheaper unicorns that are available for purchase. And so let's say to start, you want to specialize in you know, the flower unicorns. So you would pick up the two flower unicorns. You would go through, click on the unicorns. You will then proceed to, to buy now. So ensuring that you have enough weath wrapped Ethereum in your wallet. And of course, the necessary amount of money to put through the transaction. You would purchase those two unicorns. And then what you would want to do is, is you would want to go and buy a land that supports that unicorn class. And so to do that, we're going to go back and we're going to click up here where it's got unicorn land. So obviously we're looking at all the unicorns. We have unicorn lands, we have shadow corns and items. Now don't worry about these two for now. The ones I'm, I'm really wanting you to focus on for now are unicorns and unicorn lands. So now you've gone to purchase those two flower unicorns in this example. The next thing you're going to do is go and purchase a land that you can use these unicorns on. So you're gonna click on unicorn lands and obviously we're after flower class land. So we're gonna to go to filters and from there we got, we're going to go and select the flower class which is right here. So we're gonna select that option and go to save. And here we can see the flower lands that are available. Now with crypto unicorns, the, the different rarities of land will essentially be able to support more classes. So there is a guide that goes through all that. I will link that below as well. But let's just say you're getting a common land. The common land is only gonna support the one unicorn class. And obviously it matches the land class. So a flower land is only gonna support 
are flower unicorns. Now let's just say you want to get a rarer type of land that's going to support more classes of unicorns. Well, what we can do is we can go back to filters. We can click on rare. Oh, so we'll just clear these values first. We'll click on rare. And this is going to view the rare lands. And so essentially these different rare, uh, rare lands will support more unicorn classes. So for the perspective of a flower unicorn, uh, you would get the rare wonderland. Uh, again, I'll link the document below that will go through all the different classes of rare land and what they, what types of unicorns they support. Here we have this rare land and you can see here it has icons around what classes are support. So we can see there there's flower, there's the om class and then there's the candy class. So that is reflected by the two icons there. So that means that we went from having one land which supports just one class of unicorn to one land which supports three. Now, for those of you that want a land that supports everything, uh, that's what the mythic land is for. So going to go back and we're going to remove that filter and we're going to add in mythic land. So if we search mythic land, this is the land that supports all unicorn classes and really is the best value because you can pretty much work any unicorn on this class of land and get the maximum amount of bonuses. But of course, the value of the mythic land is much higher than the common land. So at the start, I do suggest just getting a common land that matches your unicorn. In the example I've just given, you would want to go with a flower unicorn and a flower class of land. And as you build up your account, as you become familiar with the game, you can then choose to specialize in other classes or purchase land that is going to, uh, allow, you to uh, allow you to support more classes. And so once you've got these items, the one land and the two unicorns, you can then proceed to go to crypto unicorns um, log into the game, lock your assets in. Again, another process It is very simple, but there will be a link with instructions on how you can do that. And then you'll be able to start using that land and the two unicorns to start doing all things from farming, uh, PVP activities like uh, jousting, crafting, breeding, all these sorts of things. And over time, you will be able to grow your account, account to maximize the amount of rewards you earning from crypto unicorns. So that's the guide there, guys. I'm gonna leave it there for now. Additional information, will be below and of course if you have any questions reach out to us in discord send us a help desk ticket reach out to Horku, and we will do our best to support you through this process because we have a fantastic game here a very fun game and we want to make sure that we can make it as easy as possible for you to get involved so that's it i'm going to leave it there thank you for your time